Hi friends, today on Due to the Travel Bug, we are headed to Fargo, North Dakota to check out the town and to see if we can find some movie locations from the Coen Brothers classic film that shares the city's name. Oh yeah? It's going to be a good time, so stick around. Oh you betcha, yeah. So, where are we going today? We are driving up north to the Fargo-Moorhead Visitor Center. Fargo Moorhead? Moorhead. Moorhead's the city. Uh, Fargo's right on the state line. And then when you go um, over to Minnesota, that's Moorhead. So there's something at the visitor center I want to see. And then maybe we'll get some ideas of what to do in town before we drive out and uh, go see a filming location. Okay. All right. Sounds like Let's fun. go. The Fargo Moorhead Visitor Center is located in Fargo, North Dakota. We are heading over to see why they call home north of normal. So we are in. Fargo, North Dakota, in search of one very famous movie prop. All right, let's go check it out. Do you know what it is? That is the movie with the wood chipper in it. Do you want to see it? Sure. Do you think it, it looks scary? Seeing bloody go everywhere? Yes. <laughs> While at the Visitor Center, we get inspired to adventure around Fargo and Moorhead and to hunt down some hot dish, the classic North Dakota meal, and to find some of their famous painted buffaloes and murals. Got my half-eaten dilly bar. They're tasty. I mean, it's soft serve, dipped in a hard coating. So I remember Buster bars when I was a kid, but I've never really heard of a dilly bar. But apparently, this is the place that invented them, and this is the world's largest right here. We are at Stockman's Truck Stop outside of Minneapolis. But this was the Blue Ox Motel in Fargo. We are not in Fargo anymore, obviously, and most of the filming for the movie Fargo was done somewhere in Minnesota. So, um, but this was the Blue Ox, and it looks different because it doesn't have the awesome signs that were just for the movie. But here we are. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.